and hello. Oh my goodness, I'm finally making this video. So many of my friends have been asking for me to do a van tour. I'm not a YouTuber, but I'm trying to be. Just to vlog my experience. I would say living in Lola, but that sounds really creepy. So living with Lola, which is the name of my van. Um, she's great complicated like me but overall great <laughs> and so I guess I'll just get this started so Lola is a 1988 Ford Econoline E150 that gets 15 miles per gallon which is you know not that great but you know <laughs> to, I can get around with like two dollars of gas so that's good and whenever I first bought her, driving home during that two hour long drive, an hour and a half in, she broke down completely, AAA, the technician did everything to revive her, and it didn't work. So, got it towed to a shop, um, to a car place, and they replaced the radiator because he said it was original, so that would be 31 year old radiator, um, and then the battery as well. Uh, so that's not good and then I got it back broke down two more times but she is good she's Gucci she actually does need a vacuum replaced because it came off while I was driving home from Michigan and it was really scary because it started making this really loud noise um, but it's fine she's good <laughs> and so that's my little spiel I will start the video <laughs> Alrighty, so as you can see, this is the front. Um, she's a little crusty dusty, not gonna lie. There's some rust, and then up, up top, you can't really see that. Um, but in my wind <laughs> windshield, I have a ukulele that I need to get re-strung, new strings on it, so I can actually learn how to play it. And then I have two of my hats. I have my mom's like mini marathon hat. Um, so I run with that one to make people, <laughs> to make people think that I, I actually ran it, but I didn't. And then I have my, like, life is good hat, whatnot. Um, yes, I, like, shortened, I put down the antenna. I'm currently in, I'm not gonna say, in a state park. Um, great, love it. <laughs> um, this little sticker came with it. Yeah, we got a crank windshield thing. This is my favorite on both sides, but I can't really reach the other side while I'm driving. But you just open it, and it goes all the way out. I think they're super cute, but it directly blows wind in your face, um, which is a must-have since the AC needs to be charged. But this is my seat. Very, very crusty-dusty. Um, yeah, I started, like, it's began, it's begun to tear. My sun visor, my sun reflectix are there. Um, I bought this like $9 piece of ribbon, <laughs> cloth ribbon, and I figured it would go good with my steering wheel. I really wish I have enough to go all the way around, but that's another project for another day. Um, oh, sorry, my finger was in the way. Sorry. These are my lights. Super great. So whenever she was breaking down a whole bunch, this light says check engine. That light comes on. So if whenever that comes on, something's wrong. Um, she's having a fit, so I have to go get that taken care of. Um, I do not have a crossbody, but I do have, like, a lap belt. I don't know what it's called. Um, so my mom really wants me to get one that, uh, crosses my body, but I have not done that yet. Oh, up here, I have a map that I got in Michigan, and then I have, like, literally three of the places out of the billion that I went to in Michigan, and, like, stopped at, uh... I have a scrunchie, park pass, a Petoskey rock that I stole, and then I just glued some seashells and another Petoskey rock. I have my plant that Sierra gave me. Super fun. I have my speaker. Of course, it's always right there. Also, another thing. So I'm vegan, right? And it's called Burger King has a vegan Whopper. So I put that right there. So... If you've seen my story recently, you know that's now it's designated spot. So I don't even, I just need to put that right there because that is for my my vegan hamburgers. <laughs> I have a must-have fan that is just, you, you 
charge it by USB, which is super handy. And then my running exercise thing that I have, a knife. Because that is an absolute must-have if you're a single uh, female traveler. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I keep my book bag, which is actually just a hiking bag. But it's pretty small. So that's why I use it for like my laptop and stuff. I have my glasses down here that I should wear. And then manuals. Um, and then we get over to the passenger side. This, um... I will show you how I use it later, but it's basically to hold something up. I have campfire that I bought in Michigan, which um, I'm going to have to burn at my house because I can't burn it in the state parks. Um, just all that rules and stuff. And then I use this to like help with the fire and then of course a lighter because uh, you need that. I have a bunch of cords back here and then papers. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Ugh, there was a big bee. Okay, that was scary because I saw it flying around. It was literally a hornet, so I'm scared. And then that is my dirty laundry book bag. Um, yes, so that is that. Alrighty, so this is the passenger. Oh gosh, I'll sit back. So this is the passenger seat that is all both of these chairs are camper van chairs even though I built everything out in this van and the original owners used it for their rock band which is so cool um I actually found a guitar pick whenever I was cleaning it out um and then I have my freaking what is it called like coolman I think it's like coolman <laughs> So hopefully I make enough or save, save enough money to buy solar panels so I can have a fridge, a mini fridge. Um, but yes, I have an extra quilt. I have an extra blanket, um, lots of blankets because it's going to be getting really cold in Indiana soon here in about like two months. Um, so yeah, and that's that. Alrighty, I'm sorry if you can't really hear me, but if you did not see that fold-out table that was outside, I, at nighttime, if I'm at a campsite or in my front yard and not in a public place where I need to be more discreet, stealth life, all that jazz, um, I put this out and I have my three little candles that used to be pickle jars, um, which is great. <laughs> so... I'll just have my laptop do some work on here all that good stuff um packs um usually Wendy's has really good Wi-Fi if you're like right outside the store um but you will still have like good like service or Wi-Fi connection if you're in your car I found that Wendy's and McDonald's is sort of they're sort of the best places um also I like <laughs> I like to park close enough to the doors at my gym so that I can sort of not use my cellular data um, but whenever I need to do laptop since I don't have a hotspot on my phone I there was a noise um <laughs> it sounded like a bug or something I don't know <laughs> I don't get it I love nature so much but then the bugs can't do if I hear something I literally get scared by butterflies and I it's embarrassing because <laughs> I'll just go like <laughs> whenever I see a butterfly I'm like oh it's a, it's a little monarch it's not gonna hurt me <laughs> I feel like I should feel that way about boys honestly but I don't <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> and then um this thing super cute I uh, there's lots of sweat bees in here. I just like connected seashells to the ends of them on some of them. So that's super fun. Ugh, it's really hot in here. Alrighty. So um, right here I have a Wanderlust sign. You can't really see that. I'm going to, will tapping help? I don't know. Um, but yes. So this is like the kitchen slash if I'm not at the gym or camping this is where I brush my teeth all that good stuff 
I have like a hand pump right here and water comes out. It usually takes a little bit. And then you just toss it out. So I have eco-friendly soap, Dr. Bronner's specific, specifically. So I don't feel bad about dumping this out into the grass or into the gravel and it going into the water systems or the waterways. Um, cause we need to take better care of our planet. Um, I also wash my face with it. I feel like that's definitely helping with my acne. Uh, yeah. So I just have lavender Dr. Bronner's soap and then a, um, uh, a wooden thing. It looks like it's for your nails, but it was in the, uh, like dish scrubby section. So I think that's what it's for. <laughs> And then I have my jewelry box, super cute. My best friend gave it to me, so sweet. I love you, Jill, you're the best. And I have my most t usually worn jewelry in there. Um, and then I have a nice little cutting board. It needs to refocus, I'm sorry. Um, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna bring you in here. And that's a hot mess there's usually more cotton balls in this mason jar and then that we shall not talk about it but that okay i picked this space up a lot but it's usually a lot dirtier <laughs> so one thing about van life is that you will have to sweep all the time um so i guess i'll show you like down here I have like a little mini broom. See, this is like, this is reality. Um, I have my bowls. I don't really use plates. So I have like a one bowl at the very bottom, my, my pretty bowl. Um, <laughs> so that it's like sort of big enough and flat enough to use as a plate. Um, and then I have my lovely water tank. And then in here is my gas, my gas stove. Tin foil, I have like baby wipes. My freaking flat irons back there. Uh, toilet paper that my mom got me. <laughs> Overpriced toilet paper, paper, might I add. Um, and then, of course, I have a first aid kit, which is mandatory. I would get everything out and show you, but it's all there. It's everything I need. Um, so, yes. And Clorox wipes. And so... I have an extra bin in the back in the garage. So I use this old soap whenever my Dr. Bronner's gets really gross. <laughs> I will use it for like washing big dishes um, in bulk. Um, just because I need to totally clean this off because look, it's like, it's, it's disgusting, trust me. Uh, so, and then back there, that's like my pantry. I have more bell peppers in there with like onions apples but that lone that lonesome bell pepper was just out whenever i was cleaning so i place everything strategically into that bin so there's not enough room for it so it has to be by the, with the bananas on the pans so <laughs> um yes oh also this thing oh my water bottle which is a must-have uh <laughs> I have like a metal fork and spoon and then I also have a wooden fork and spoon combined. Um, so yes, a can opener, a, uh, a vegetable shaver, don't quote me. Can we please appreciate how pretty this freaking view is? Like, <sighs> I love it. So across the hill <laughs> is um the the pool so oh gosh my pores look i'm sweating <laughs> if you live in florida and don't have ac in your van i'm i don't think someone would do that i feel like that's just basically human torture but uh yes i do not have any sort of off-grid capability except a portable charger and my laptop if Somehow I waste like three lives on my phone. I can use my laptop. Um, and then a really cute cup. So that's what's right there. Uh, what else? So my bed 
is actually pretty comfortable. Um, but back here, can't, I have three bins of clothes. I also have Christmas lights back there. In this bin, I have like bathing suits. I got like Bible stuff, you know, the mandatory. <laughs> my needs need to be met while I'm living in here. I just have extra goodies like sun, sunscreens. I have a winter hat. I got more of these little tea candles um, because they run out pretty quickly if you like run them for a couple of hours. So, ugh, yes. And then I have my bucket hat. <laughs> I love this thing. But I'm really self-conscious to like wear it in public places in the summer, but it's it's a great look for me. And um so like oh I'll, I'll move it. Um so I made so if you're wondering what these tool things are for, I have little velcro dots at the bottom, um, and then along down there. <laughs> Just to keep the mosquitoes out, cause can you see my, can you see my leg? It's, oh my gosh, it's literally like bit up. Gross, like I'm gonna have so many scars on my leg and it's gonna look ratchet. But I have my sunshine purse, or that's what a lady called it. So now that's what I'm calling it. She's like, your purse makes me so happy. It's like, it's like sunshine. I'm like, you're right, you know, I love, I love when I meet people like that. And then I have Earthbound. Is this just like, it's in like the mall, but I don't know if it's like a nationwide franchise. Um, but this is my gym bag, shower bag, all that good stuff. And then this is what I keep my like toiletries in that I take into the shower. So like my bamboo toothbrush and this thing is more Dr. Bronner soap and then conditioner, shampoo. You know what you need um this video is going to be really long so if you have not seen the roof look how cool oh look at all those okay don't mind my pimples but uh look at my roof it's so cute um please appreciate this fringe trim stuff so you see it starts right there and then it ends right there. Guess how much that was? Not 10, not 20, $35. Cause I got like six, five, six yards of it at the store at Michael's, no, Joanne's Fabric. Not really paying attention to how much one yard cost. I'm like, well, you know, I don't think it would be that hard to make that um, with a machine because I made these by myself $35 so um, that was whenever I saw that I didn't want to be like no I can't buy this any or I can't you know can you just take it back because it's too expensive I didn't I thought that was really rude to have someone cut it out or take it off of the whole strip because if someone else wanted that fringe and was wanting the whole bundle you know and they wanted it intact like I just would have felt bad so I kept it but down here I have like three bins worth of clothes and then I also okay in this extra bin like down here that has it's not it's like partially full and it's like more bathing suits a robe um it has this, um, if you saw my backpack, that's actually a hiking bag. This came into it, so, you know, I guess this could come in handy whenever I'm like, having to walk a lot with my school stuff and I can just pop this in here. I'll never use it, honestly. To be honest, um, I have more cotton balls, stuff like pads, tampons for those girls. <laughs> I don't know when mine's due, but it's soon. So I've been sort of on edge on that. And then 
in this bin I have like my underwear and then nice clothes um so yes but my bed is literally this is literally what it is it's pillows on my side um because this fits two people it's like yeah it can fit two people really easily as long as if you're not taller than like five five you know you'll be good um a mattress that i literally freaking ripped up from my bed <laughs> so the other half is on the other side um and that's you know i called it a day <laughs> i started to add an other another um pad one of these foam things mattress pads and i'm like this is too much you know i don't need it so i guess if i'm having like a really bad week and my bed isn't helping then i guess i will add another but right now i'm good <laughs> oh so uh this blind comes down which is a little bit oh i thought there was a bug which is a little bit annoying because there's a little bit of space at the bottom but i have um black poster board for these windows um and then a like really thick blackout thermal um why can't i think like fabric uh i'm gonna like calculate everything and like how much stuff costs and then i'll something oh and then on this side i don't have that so i just have you know curtains fancy smanchy fancy smancy fancy smanchy i don't know <laughs> please like tell me which one it is um but you know life's great this was like I totally went on a limb here. Oh, there's some mangoes in my banana boat. I love mangoes and avocados. So, yes, that is it. Oh, I also want to show you my bumper, my like wheel thing. Um, it's super cute. So here it is in all of its glory. So I painted this. Lola, that's her name. I was thinking of what I should name her. I also thought Wonderlust would be a cute name, but I'm like, that's not very original, isn't it? Or is it? So, um, yeah. I looked up retro color patterns, and then this, like, mountainous sunset picture came up with a mountain guy. So I figured I'd, like, put that into the name, but I left out the mountain guy. I hope I didn't hurt his feelings, but... You know, it just would have been too much work. And then I have a bunch of, like, Michigan stuff. I think this one's probably my favorite. Um, this one's really cute, too. I got these two at um, Dick's Sporting Goods. Does it almost feel so awkward saying that? I feel like I finally, like, over the past, like, couple years, I finally overcome saying that name. Because whenever I was in middle school, I was like, oh, I got this at... Dick Sporting I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do I have to make things like that? Okay. Um, and then I got these from like local artists. I went to some art pop-up fairs in Michigan, which were super cool. So that's where I got them. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I have a lonesome go vegan bumper sticker all the way right there that Paige got me um, She got an extra because her friend just went vegan. So um, she's vegetarian. Oh Look, it's like a little bird nest thing. I think that's so cute. I love that Alrighty, I think that's it This is Lola. We're living our best life um, I've added like 1200 miles on onto her and a little over a thousand for my whole like Michigan trip um so yes thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs> oh also don't always remember to make decisions for yourself but keep in mind um your loved one take into consideration their critiques and what you know they think's best for you just because you know 
I got a lot of positivity and then a lot of negativity, but really that's more so just them um, being worried about me because they care about me. Um, so I definitely try to take into take that into account. But if you ever feel like you need to change something about your life, go out and change it. It's never too late to start something, whether that you like going vegan, going vegetarian, losing weight, gaining weight, taking a year off before your first year of college. Like I'm not doing that, but online I feel like I'm sort of doing that in a way. Just make it happen, but live every day working towards your goal. And if that isn't making you happy, then that shouldn't be your goal. So that's my little, <laughs> my little speech. I hope you listen to it and you learn something from it. And if it helps someone, that's good. Um, I'm definitely not perfect. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to live life like Larry right now. Um, so yes, goodbye.